Hey guys, Toby Love here with Cross Country Mortgage, and today I'm bringing you a video on what two things the Fed rate hike really impacts in our daily lives. Before I jump into this subject, please like, share, comment if you're finding impact in these videos. I get a lot of questions about this um, throughout the days on, um, and a lot of comments that are made about the misconception that the Fed funds hike directly affects mortgage rates. And it really doesn't. Um, it may correlate, but it doesn't directly affect the mortgage interest rates. I know sometimes the media gets it wrong and um, they say, you know, interest rates are up, but it's the Fed funds rate that they're talking about. And the two things that affect that, that that affects in our daily lives are credit cards and home equity lines of credit. The most recent increase was a quarter percent, so 0.25%. So let's talk about credit cards first. If you are carrying a balance on your credit card monthly, then more than likely that interest rate has gone up a quarter percent. Most credit cards are variable. If you're carrying that balance every single month, then your actual payment's gonna go up a little bit. Now, why does this happen? Well, the number one job of the Federal Reserve is to curtail inflation. And the way that they do this is they increase those rates so that the interest rate goes up. People are less likely to spend more on their credit cards because the interest rate is continuing to go up. That's it in a nutshell. There's a lot more to it than that, but basically that's what it boils down to. Now, the second thing that um, this is gonna impact in our daily lives is gonna be the home equity lines of credit. So again, whenever the Fed raises the rate, as it, for an example, this last time, 0.25%, that means that your equity line rate if it's a variable, which most of the time they are, it's gonna go up a quarter percent. Now, that may be not be too big of a deal depending on what that balance is. Typically what happens with the home equity lines of credit is they're based off of prime rate, which is directly affected by the Fed funds increases, um, plus a margin, and that varies dependent on credit score and different things like that. Typically you have prime rate plus a margin of about 2%, Prime rate right now is at three and a half. You add 2%, then you're at about five and a half. When the Fed comes in and raises that by a quarter percent, now it goes to, this next time it'll go to 3.75. Your rate's gonna go to 5.75. So that's how it really works. Now, something to be extremely cognizant about. The Feds are saying they're gonna raise the Fed funds rate another full point this year. Now that's not actual, actual happening right now, but that is what they're saying. I definitely think it's gonna be at least half a point, but I do think that they're gonna follow through and raise it that full point. So the reason that you need to know this is yes, interest rates, mortgage interest rates have definitely gone up, but it may be a time to take a look at things and do a reset right now most Americans have more equity than they ever have. That equity position is historically high. And so what that means to you is that you may be able to take some of that equity and pay off higher interest credit cards and different things like that. It may make sense, it may not. That's where you definitely wanna sit down with a mortgage advisor and figure out if it makes sense. And now is definitely the time to do that because it's a great way to get out from under some high interest debt that may continue to grow and become more high interest debt. So if you wanna take a look at that and analyze it, see if it makes sense, please don't hesitate to text or call us at 951-704-7421. Thanks so much and we'll see you soon. Bye.